So in this video I want to rig out this arm, we're going to put joints in it and put an IK handle so we can animate it in our game. Um, yeah I've began doing this arm guys, I'm going to add more detail to it, I've began doing the gun and then we're going to put it into our game and create a nice first person shooter and to do this we need to animate it. this in Maya using joints or any animation package. Uh, so the first thing to mention is um, when modeling this this kind of stuff guys make like loops so the so the model uh, manipulates nicely so it looks realistic so we've got loops here where our joints will manipulate our mesh um, okay so we're going to use a couple of tools the first one is the joint tool and the IK handle tool I've just created a new shelf and um, go to your animation preset guys and uh, these tools are found in the skeleton menu so to add them to your shelf just click um, hold shift and control and click the ones you want to add control shift click um, simple as that so straight away let's just jump into a front view and I'm going to drag out or click some joints so one at the shoulder one at the elbow and let's go down to the hand just before the hand okay let's just move it in a bit so let's straight away let's just um, let's put it inside a bit I'm going to attach the joints to the mesh straight away so click the top mesh joint the mesh go to skin bind skin and then smooth bind then it will bind it together so as we move the joints the mesh will move as well so <laughs> simple as that and uh, what we want to do, we want to create an IK handle so we can animate this uh, realistically. So click the top one and then click the bottom one. Okay, so our IK handle has been created. So as we move it, the the mesh moves realistically as well and it's facing the right way. So simple as that, guys. Um, the next thing to do is the, the uh, fingers. So before I do that, I'm just going to detach it. So skin, detach skin, and uh, uh, let's just move it into place again. Let's move it out of place a bit. Okay. So to make the fingers, guys, get the joint tool out again. So firstly, I want to create a joint in the middle of the hand, so we can actually bend the hand itself. Uh, I've got a couple of loops here to animate this and the next thing to do is the fingers so get the joint again let's just do the thumb to begin with I'm going to connect them to this so it will look a bit more realistic when we're animating it so um, do this with this finger okay and then this one okay simple as that guys and uh, let's just connect them together again skin bind smooth bind and again our IK handles over here in the next video I'll show you how to make kind of a toggle like another object to control the movement which will be a lot easier and as you can see it's all nicely animating still the last thing I want to do in this video is show you how to do weights now weights kind of control how the mesh is manipulated the higher the weights the more the mesh is manipulated and what we can do guys we can kind of paint the weights onto the model so I'm going to select this joint for example and the mesh go to skin edit smooth skin and uh, paint skin weights tool so so I'm actually going to open the perimeters for this um, or attributes and uh, as you can see this is kind of unrealistic because this whole bit bends uh, we don't want it to so hold control and I'm just going to get rid of this bit little area here just an, as an example so that do I think so I'm holding shift to get rid of the weights guys if you want to paint the weights you know just uh, click on and paint make the weights heavier uh, simple as that so let's get out of this now so if this works it should look a bit nicer <laughs> and um, yeah so it's kind of a bit uh, sharper here it's kind of like bending more nicely let's say and it's as simple as that so with a bit of tweaking guys you can make this look really nice I think this is looking alright already I mean it's a bit dodgy there so I'll just play around around with the weights and uh, 
in the next video I'll make some controls for this and uh, I'll probably make some IK handles for the fingers as well so we can easily animate the fingers so um, in our first person game guys the user will uh, the player will see this model quite a lot so the trick is to make it look really nice and detailed so I'll be adding like a band here and the fingernails and stuff and uh, make the gun look really nice and detailed as well because at the end of the day the user will see it a lot in the game and uh, the more detailed your animations are the better it looks and uh, the more polished your game will look so simple as that guys so I hope you've learned a lot in this video with uh, started off with our rigging so now we can maybe do some keyframe animation and then we can import our animations into unity and go from there so as a side note guys unity 4 will be out soon if uh, you're watching the video before that and unity 4 will have its own animation panel so you can create your bones in Maya and stuff you can bring it into unity in unity 4 and uh, create your animations directly into unity 4 so uh, just a side note, so thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.